8 to 10. If you listen carefully outside your window tonight, regardless of where you live in the Quad City area, you could likely hear a little rock and roll music tonight as four of the biggest acts in the biz, Nickelback, Bush, Seether, and My Darkest Days, kicked off their national tour at the iWireless Center tonight. But the spotlight there earlier today was on some Quad City kids, rock stars of the future. They may not have pulled up on one of the incredible tour buses parked out back Tuesday, and maybe the fans weren't there hours ahead of time to see them. These Quad City kids, students at Davenport's QC Rock Academy, walked into the iWireless Center ready for the rock star treatment and a chance to meet international rock superstars, My Darkest Days. <laughs> Armed with questions backstage. What instrument do you play? What was your who influenced you to play in the band? To play rock and roll? Probably Nirvana was I think both of our me, definitely um, Cliff Burton, the original bass player from Metallica. He was a big influence on me. These Quad City kids, rock stars in their own right, thrilled by the opportunity. I feel pretty lucky right now. Yeah. The kids weren't the only ones excited. Tuesday night's show was the first on a new national tour, and My Darkest Days told News 8 they were thrilled to start it all in the Quad Cities. This is the first day, so uh, we're uh, we're probably gonna get into it tonight. <laughs> yeah. We got a day off tomorrow, and it's cool too, cause like we like it's our first day, but we've seen like All our five friends. or six people that we've that we've toured with before, and it's just like a big happy family. And a big happy family with some young fans for life. Pretty cool stuff. Now, my darkest days are from Canada. They're actually discovered by Chad Kroger, lead singer of tonight's headliner there, Nickelback, which is also from Canada. They're going to head from here to Grand Rapids, Michigan, the second stop on their 39-stop North American tour tomorrow. That looks like a lot of fun and a dream come true for those kids. Big smiles there as well. Just ahead in sports.